Hello folks, uh, the question of uh, today is uh, 2020 Amazing Session Paper 1-2 and the question number is 18 and this question is concerned with the chapter uh, Elastic Properties so it's actually the properties of matter under which we have the subtopic elasticity it says that an elastic cord of unstressed length 16 cm so this is the original length L L and cross-sectional area 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square so that's equal to A a is held horizontally by two smooth pins so smooth pins means that here we don't have friction uh, a distance 8 cm apart distance between them is 8 cm the cord obeys Hooke's law so we are not concerned with the material but uh, it is supposed to obey Hooke's law a load of mass 0.40 kg so this is equal to small m is suspended centrally on the cord so at the very central portion let us say the angle between the two sides of the core supporting the load is 60 degrees so after it suspends it makes an angle 60 degree what is the young modulus of the core material so for that uh, let me first uh, draw uh, an imaginary line here horizontal line here sorry vertical line here such that such that such that so since this is suspended to the horizontal when it comes here uh, the length here the length here and length here are same so after extension also uh, this length will be same as this so this is 8 this is 8 this is 60 so if it is 60 it should also be 60 it should also be 60 and uh, the length here should also be equal to 8.0 centimeter equilateral triangle so if I draw a vertical line here it will be 30 let's say it is uh, uh, it is theta and this will also be equal to theta now uh, when we suspend here uh, a tension force develops in the wire so at this point at this point the tension force is in this direction this is T at this point the tension here is in this direction in fact there is tension all over but at this point the tension along the rope is along this direction and at this point it is along this direction so now what happens here is uh, so since it is a balanced condition we must have a total upward force equal to total downward force the downward force FD is equal to simply weight of this thing equal to M into G but the upward force is the resultant of uh, resultant of this thing and this thing so we can calculate this in two ways one is ap applying the formula for the resultant resultant and the next one would be next one would be going through the components so let's do that the component of uh, this thing the component of this thing in this direction is equal to t cos theta the component of this thing in this direction is t cos theta again the component of this also this on this also t cos theta so when we have two components it will be so force upward is equal to t cos of theta plus t cos theta where t is the tension force there <coughs> uh, tension force in, in in the in the in the cord so that's equal to 2t cos of theta so during equilibrium so this thing 2t cos theta should be equal to this weight so so in equilibrium we must have uh, f u should be equal to f d or we can say uh, 2t cos theta should be equal to m g which gives us uh, this is the a very basic equation of uh, such balance systems now what is t the t force is somewhat like this so i can write it here the Young's modulus here is equal to force so force is tension T here L by A into E Young's modulus is equal to force into original length by the cross section into extension so here it will be T so T should be equal to Y A E by this L so therefore I must have here or 2 Y A E by L cos of theta is equal to M G which gives us y is equal to is equal to m g l whole divided divided to a e cos of theta so let's put the values so y is equal to m is uh, 0 0.40 0 0.40 into g is 9.81 into the original length is uh, 16 16 so then cross section is this much it is a 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 6 into extension so this is 8 8 8 total is 24 so original is a 16 now 24 
So the extension is 24 minus 16, which is equal to 8. So it is 8. Uh, since it is a CM, uh, it will cancel, but uh, I prefer that you take it into uh, SI. So 16 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. Then we have got uh, cos 30 into cos of 30 degrees. So when we do the calculations, its value will be equal to will be equal to so it is a uh, point four into nine point eight one into so this eight into something this is it's simply equal to two two and this two will cancel with uh, there is another two also we have another two also the two here is missing so two so this two uh, <coughs> this two to two two into this this will cancel with this so let's not use it in the calculator so we have a 0 0.4 into 981 um, equal to divided to exponent uh, exponent uh, minus 6 equal to divided cos 30 so divided uh, cos 30 equal to so this becomes 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 it is uh, two two six five five two two uh, uh, newton per meter square or pascal equal to so if I write in two SF here everything in two SF so it is two point three into ten to the power one two three four five six so it is six newton meter square or pascal and the answer which corresponds to this is choice number C so choice number C should be the correct choice.